It's hard to explain because I'm used to working in a trauma setting, so for me it was very familiar. So the chaos kind of was familiar. It was like being back home a lot. My name is Laura Cabahug. I'm a nurse that I work at Shock Trauma in Baltimore, uh, specializing in perioperative or operating room trauma repair. I was uh, fortunate enough to be part of the first group that came down. We got the word back at Shock Trauma University of Maryland that we were going to mount a emergency medical surgical relief at uh, St. Francois de Sales. Now I'm used to, very used to dealing with emergencies, but back home, you know, in Baltimore, you know, in the trauma OR. So this was uh, by far something I've never done before in a, a foreign country, uh, not knowing the language, and also in a very um, economically and structurally desperate situation due to the damage of the earthquake. Basically, three quarters of St. Francois de Sales were completely destroyed or unusable, deemed unsafe. Uh, the building that we're on top of right now was one of the structures that survived and we actually uh, were able to utilize this and another one right next door. We transformed a building that was not an OR into an OR. And we did that largely by gathering equipment from the collapsed part of the hospital to create that section that we could provide effective and safe care. And that was monumental. That was huge. I, um, I feel very fortunate to have been invited back to continue in this effort because the, the uh, emergency relief is over. And now something very exciting is happening, which is an outgrowth of the partnership that occurred between uh, Catholic Relief Services, St. Francois de Sales, Shock Trauma University of Maryland. And it's uh, widening. And the purpose is to increase the capacity of the healthcare system of Haiti to provide healthcare. And what is very exciting about it is, is that it's a, a partnership, a coordinated effort between uh, the, um, in, the institutions I just named, in addition to the University of Notre Dame, School of Medicine, and School of Nursing. And it's primarily, the view now is that we were not just going to come and put a Band-Aid on problems and leave. We really want to enhance the ability that exists here with the healthcare system to continue to provide care. And specifically, programs are being set up to continue training, to strengthen the clinical skills and applications of those, of those types of um, care. And there's going to be a training, postgraduate training, in the terms of HIV and AIDS care. There's going to be um, a two-year trauma orthopedic training for surgical repair. And there's going to be a four-part nursing training, which is going to entail um, infectious disease, HIV, uh, perioperative, um, rehabilitation, and critical care. The idea is uh, that we want to assist the major hospitals of Haiti, including with St. Francois being the flagship, to um, gain the capacity to provide this care. And it's very, very exciting. I'm, I, just, I just really like this idea that it isn't just a, a, a one-time humanitarian effort, you know, that it's truly a long-term partnership that is going to, and to me, that is what's really going to make the difference to people that's going to provide care.